this is the Mumbai airport. If you look closely at the runway, you will see some strange numbers on it. The same thing can be seen at London's Heathrow Airport and Singapore's Changi Airport. In fact, you will see these numbers on runways all over the world. But why these numbers are there? And what do they mean? Let's find out in this video. Runway numbers are an essential part of airports, serving as a navigational aid for pilots during takeoff, landing, and taxiing. The numbers are not random. They are based on the runway's orientation relative to the Earth's magnetic north, ensuring consistency and reliability across the world. Instead of showing the full 360 degree of a compass, the numbers are shortened by dropping the last digit and rounding to the nearest 10 degree. This gives numbers from 1 to 36. For example, if the runway points to 80 degrees, it's labeled as 08. Since runways are used from both ends, each end is labeled with a different number, representing its respective direction. These numbers are 180 degree apart. The opposite end of runway 08, which is 180 degree in the other direction, will be labeled 26. 80 plus 180 gives 260. Dropping the last digit gives 26. To ensure clear communication, the digits of the runway numbers are spoken individually over the radio. For example, runway 15 is pronounced runway 15 and runway 33 is pronounced as runway 33. This avoids confusion and ensures safe operation. You will never see a runway numbered 0 or 00. Runways pointing towards magnetic north are always labeled as 36, representing 360 degrees. These designations align with the headings used by air traffic control and pilots for safe communication and navigation. When there are multiple runways at the airport, extra labels are added to differentiate them. These labels include L for left, R for right, and C for center if there are three runways. If an airport has four parallel runways, a unique system is used. One runway is numbered is adjusted by 10 degrees or one digit. This ensures that all runways are clearly distinguishable. Let's say there are four runways and all pointing towards 280 degrees. The runway numbers will be something like 28L, 28R, 28C and more surprisingly 29. In this case, runway 29 still points to 280 degrees, but its number is adjusted to avoid confusion with other runways. This is the official runway marking font. You can find them in almost every major runways around the world. Runway designations may change over time because Earth's magnetic lines slowly drift on the surface and the magnetic direction changes. Depending on the location of the airport and how much the drift occurs, it might be necessary to change the runway numbers. As runways are designated with headings rounded to the nearest 10 degree, this affects some runways sooner than others. For example, if the magnetic heading of a runway is 233 degree, it is designated runway 23. If the magnetic heading changes downwards by 5 degree to 288 degree, the runway remains runway 23. If, on the other hand, the original magnetic heading was 226 degree, the runway is called runway 23 and the heading decreases by only 2 degree, the runway becomes runway 22. Because magnetic drifts are itself very slow, the runway designation changes are very uncommon and it is not welcomed because then we have to make a lot of changes in the aeronautic charts and descriptive documents. In 2009, London Stansted Airport changed its runway numbers from 5 by 23 to 4 by 22. Jaipur International Airport also changed its runway numbers from 9 by 27 to 8 by 26. The FAA rechecks the runway numbers in every 5 years. It might be logical for the airports to align all the runways parallel to each other for simplicity, but it doesn't happen like that. The direction of the runway is determined by the prevailing winds, which can change over time. To help planes take off and land safely, many airports have positioned their runways at different angles, allowing pilots to better align with the wind. The direction of the wind determines which runway to be used for takeoffs and landings. This is because planes usually take off and land into the wind. However, smaller airports don't have the space to accommodate multiple runways at different orientations. This system ensures that pilots, no matter where they are in the world, can easily interpret and understand the runway numbers. So the next time when you are traveling by air and the pilot announces that we are taking off from runway 27, you will know that you are moving towards west. If you like this video, please subscribe to this channel. This will help us 
make more videos like this for you.